<laughs> okay, uh, this is the third video I'm recording on socks. Uh, been having audio issues with the volume of my voice. I really hope I got it right now. It looks like it might be a little high. I'll lower it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little, 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 little bit. Okay, I just don't want to clip. It's also raining outside. You could probably hear that, but I also want you to be able to hear my voice clearly. Again, I'm using different so software than I normally do because we're doing audio stuff. And normally I'm just recording my voice. Well, now I'm trying to record my voice and the audio coming out of my computer, which I've done before, but it's not something I do often. And trying to match those two so they go well together is not as easy as you would think if it's not something you normally do. Anyway, uh, we have been working with Socks. Socks is an application, a great application for manipulating and also generating audio, which is what we've been doing. Today we're just going to have a little bit of fun with uh, MTMF. So what is MTMF? Uh, uh, digital Tone Modulation Frequency? I should have looked up what it meant, I forget. Uh, but it's basically, if you're old like me and you had a touch tone phone, it's the tones that they generate. So we're going to be looking at generating um, dial tones and ring tones that you would have heard on a landline, uh, specifically for North America. And then we're going to go through the 16 different numbers, characters, and symbols that you can generate with these tones. Uh, this could be fun if you're just trying to generate uh, some some sounds like those, but actually practical for touch tone purposes. You can play tones that activate stuff in other places. You know, when you call on a phone and you press a button to play a tone, you know, select option one, option two, your phone is technically creating a tone and there's specific tones for one, two, three, four, pound, and all that. And when the computer on the other end hears it, it does something. This could also be used when, uh, you know, gated neighborhoods, like my parents live in a gated neighborhood, someone will dial on the number pad, it makes their phone ring, and when they press a button, it opens the gate. These are tones, we're gonna generate them today. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna have any use for this, but it's still fun to do, and there is some practicality to it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Put your headphones on. Actually, this one you don't need your headphones on as much as the previous ones, because we're not doing a lot of left and right audio stuff. Uh, and I will try not to blow out your eardrums. Uh, again, I hope my volume levels are good here. So in the shell here, we are going to run some simple commands. Again, as always, check out the links in the description of this video for the notes that every command I'm about to run. And this should be pretty quick. Uh, here we have, we're going to play a synth. We'll play it, well, it says 10 seconds. We'll do 5 seconds because the video, we don't need to listen to it for that long. We're going to play a sine wave at 350 and a sine wave at 440 and mix them together. That's what the mix dash is, the pound, and this is just note saying this is a North American dial tone. So if you're old like me and you've heard a dial tone, this is what it should have sounded like. Similarly, how about a ringtone? So when you dial someone's number and you hear it ringing, so you know that it's ringing on the other end, uh, you will do a sine wave of 440 and a sine wave of 480, mix them together, and we'll do this for two seconds. Right, you still hear that, even with cell phones when you call, you'll hear some sort of, of ring there, so you know that they're, that the phone's ringing. So that's a fun little sound. Now, let's say, again, these are just s s set frequencies that these tones should be at that we're mixing together. And again, if you look at my notes, here is the, again, the pound symbol's just a comment to let you know this is the sound for pressing one on a touch tone phone. We'll do it for a tenth of a second, right? We can do it longer, like if you held the button, the, the key on the, the phone longer, half a second. <laughs> and of course, I'm just going to quickly copy and paste all that I have in here. So there are letters, numbers, and symbols on your phone. You're normally going to have the numbers. You're going to have a pound symbol and a, a asterisk. Uh, there are a few other letters, A, B, C, and D. We're going to play all those here in a row at a tenth of a second each. Great. And again, if you watch the previous videos, you can save those to files. But in reality, if you were to record certain tones of certain numbers and you were to go to a, I don't think it's, it's not going to work on a cell phone for dialing. Uh, but if you had a landline, you could play this from your computer or a recording. You could record it to a file like an MP3 player and play it into a landline phone and it will dial a number. And back in the day, way back in the day, this also was, there were tones for um, when you put coins in a pay phone. So if you want to make a phone call and they'll say put in 50 cents and you drop in some quarters, that would play tones. And originally you could record those tones and play them back. Very quickly, the uh, phone companies 
became aware that people became aware of this and they actually started in payphones using extra lines for those tones so you couldn't just play it through the headset to get free phone calls. But touch tones are still commonly used when you're calling uh, into these different things. I know a lot of things are voice activated now, but tones are very useful, a very quick and easy way to, with a simple pad of numbers, relay information. So. Again, check out the notes in the description, and I just wanted to make you aware that you could generate these tones and sounds, because, I mean, sounds are just waves at certain frequencies and changing, and we can do all that, oops, I like my microphone, all that with socks, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you uh, check out the notes and give this a try. It's a fun little thing to do.